Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Let me share this into my party group. When you pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. Do a share. Number am I on now? Hello, Miss Emily. Hey, hey, hey. Four. Okay, just share that over to the party group as well. Had to kind of change what I had planned tonight because I also have a um, party going on. So I just figured I would incorporate my live for them as well as the business live, right? So we've got them all merged right here together. So when everyone pops on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. My name is Becky Arnette Arcarmis, and you are hanging out at Crafts by Becky and the number two. Tonight, we're going to be doing a, some, we're still doing Christmas. We're doing some Christmas. We're doing, we're going to be doing Christmas for a while, right? Probably. Since I haven't been here for a while, we got to do some catching up. Yes, yes. So, um, if you haven't been a hostess yet, you might want to jump on board and let's do a party. Um, for my hostess, I've got a great hostess program. I hang out with her and all of her old friends for a week. And normally every night I come on in some shape or fashion, either live or a pre-recorded video, and show um, some chalk products. So they get they get to see something every night. In person, or previously recorded. So super fun time, a lot of party deals going on over there. So when you pop on, tell me, hey, if you're one of the, my party folks, hello and welcome. So today over on the party page, they've been pretty much talking, we've been talking about minis all day long. So all day long minis, but we're going to be looking at our Christmas minis tonight. So this is our Christmas minis. Look at all that funness. And with these minis, you can do so, 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 so much with the minis. I think that one kind of got wrinkled, didn't it? So this is our Christmas minis. I've already cut on the bottom, I think it's the bottom half I've already cut apart. And then we're going to cut the other part, because last time that took a really long time. And we're not going to play that game tonight, so I cut, I cut the top part, that's what I did. So let's bring you down and let's get busy. If you missed the live and you're watching the replay, then put replay on there for me as well. Okay, so this is the size B transfer, it's an 8.5 by 11. But you end up with all these little small, like these are like about 2 by 2s. They fit perfectly on our little chalkable chips. They fit on our cute little mini frames. They fit perfectly on coffee cups. And um, there's little t-shirts with little pockets, um, little koozies, oozies, um, wine glasses. They're just endless, endless on what you can do with these cute little guys. So what you're going to do first is you're going to kind of cut it apart because here where there's all these white lines, you've got to cut it apart. And I was going to grab one out of the kitchen and bring it back here and I failed to do so. But if you're going to be doing this like as a family craft, you might actually want to actually cut these completely apart so you end up with like five individuals uh, front and back. And then that's easier to pass out to your family members or to the kiddos and let them all help you create. Now, what I like to do is I just keep them all on my backing sheet just because it's easier for me to store them. So, I'm going to like cut them apart, but yet keep them all together if that made any sense at all. Probably not. But see how I've got them kind of cut apart? And then they're going to go back on this one big sheet. But if you're going to do this as a family craft, which is I'm going to show you something fun to do, you may want to do it as a family craft. I would just actually kind of cut it completely apart front and back and then you end up with a sticker as well as the backing sheet all together. Do I have one of them in here? Oh, I do. I do. This is from one of my workshops. Okay. 
So see, you got the backing sheet. You've got them on here. I do these for workshops when they're kind of, um, kind of getting their hands on the product before they do their big, their big projects. So see how you just kind of cut that apart. That would make really good um, pieces to do it when you're doing family projects. But like I told you, I'm gonna keep it all on my backing sheet just because I like it going back on here. But I'm not doing this crap with the kiddos, so this works fine for me. So with these tram transfer trimmers, you don't really even have to cut it. You just kind of get right there on that white and just let the scissors do the work for you. And if you notice, all I'm doing is really kind of dragging it. Now it gets a little tricky right here when you're kind of crossing intersections. Just kind of kind of lift it up and do it again. No biggie. So when we get done, we're going to have 12 individual little squares. And tonight we're going to be making ornaments. Christmas ornaments. Hello, Miss Patty. Christmas ornaments. So then you can make this. This would be a great family little project. And then when you get done, you just hang them on the tree. Okay, so we've got this cut apart. And for my party folks, you're going to see a party special. It's going to post after I get done live. And that um, party special, you're going to get a transfer. You're going to get 12 chalk chips. And I'm actually going to break these apart. You're going to get six black and six white because it's Christmas decorations. You're going to want a little variety here. So six black, six white. You're going to get a mini squeegee. And then you're going to get three paste singles. So I've kind of picked out um, green, shimmer gold, and red. Now you can kind of you can kind of customize if you don't really like this color scheme. Maybe you're doing your Christmas tree in shades of blue, or whatever. Just send me a little message, and you're like, "Hey Becky, I want that ornament kit, but I want to change my colors." So you're going to get three paste singles. Now you can add more. Maybe you want a rainbow of colors, and you want six colors. Then you can just add three other colors on. No big deal. And there you go. So that's going to be party special. Now, um, I am going to be punching holes. If you want holes already punched because it is ornaments. And our chockable chips come like this. So there's not a hole in them. So um, for my customers, I'm going to punch holes. If you want holes punched in it. Now, what you also can do with this is you can put magnets on the back of here. And then they'll hang great on the fridge. I think I had one of these over here. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Okay. False. It has a magnet on it, so it hangs on the fridge. So these are also fun, too. But it's Christmas time, so we need to make ornaments. So that's what we're going to do. And if you're not in the party and you want to find out about the party special... Then just put party special below in the comments and I will send you the details. So I've already punched holes on most of these because that was time consuming. So, but I left a couple here just to show you how to punch holes. Now, um, on the party special, I do have the, um, the hole puncher at the bottom as an add-on. If you want to add this on and have your own hole puncher, you may do so. So this is our chalk couture hole puncher for our chalk chips. And you're just going to line it up. And then you're just going to squeeze it super hard, right? And then we are going to make us a hole in my chalk chip. Now, you also can use this hole puncher for like our simple shapes. We've got um, the four pack that has two circles and two squares that you could actually punch holes in. And you can kind of hang them, put some twine on it and hang it. We've also got like a rectangle simple shapes. So you can punch holes in a lot of different things, but this is our hole puncher, and we're just going to punch some holes. Hello, Miss Rhea. We are punching holes. We're making Christmas ornaments tonight. So there we go. So now we have made holes in our chalk chips. So now we've got 12 chalk chips. Now these come 12 to a pack, and they normally, they come all the same color. But like I said, for my ornament kit... We're going to break it up. I'm going to give you six whites and six blacks because you want some variety on your tree. And then, like I said, I will punch holes for you. Let's get busy. 
So I know I'm going to want to do my snowman on a white chip. So you're just going to find which one of these you want to play with. You're going to fuzz it. So you're going to fuzz it a couple of times. And then these are chalkboards, guys. So if you make a mistake, no biggie. You just erase it and you can redo it. So you can do it the first time around, wash them, and then after the front's dry, you can turn them over to the other side if you want to design both sides. Maybe you want to make snowman both sides so when it kind of turns on the tree, you know, it'll have a snowman on both sides. And let's see, let's go ahead and put another one on here and we'll knock a couple of these out at the same time. This one's a cute little wreath. I think he will look super cute on the white. So these are adhesive back transfers. And let's see. So that one's going to be, I don't know what colors I'm going to be using yet. Make it maybe red. So what else would be pretty on a red? So the tree has to be green. So maybe we'll try the tree on a black one just to see how the green looks on both colors. Here's a tree. Fuzz a couple of times. Now I'm using a fuzzing cloth here, but if you don't have one, you can just grab a towel, you know, something that's like terry cloth, just get you a little fuzz. And that's just kind of loosen up the stick on the back. Let's make sure my party folks actually has this over there in their party group. So give me one second since I haven't saw any party folks on yet. Do, do, do groups. So tomorrow night, my team leader is going to be doing a live um, for anybody that would like to listen to the Chalk Couture um, opportunity. What makes chalk great? What makes it great for you to do what I'm doing? And she's got an incredible incentive that she's doing for just anybody that wants to come and watch. So if you'd like more details on that, then put biz below, biz, B-I-Z, and I'll send you the details on that incredible deal. That's Tamara. Okay, so I did, it did post on the party group. I've got a party group going on, so I've shared this over to the party group as well. Boy, this lid's on really good. <laughs> Now, um, this is going to be an ornament kit. Now, your ornament kit is going to come with singles, but I'm not using my little singles. I'm using my jars because I've got jars that these would be what comes in the party kit, the um, ornament kit. Now, you can substitute that and get jars if you want to. That's perfectly fine, but, you know, you can get more of those little paste singles and a whole bunch of colors for a lot less than a jar. But that's strictly your call. So let's see how well we do here. I left the top of this. This is my little tree. So I left him not done because I think we're going to put a little shimmer gold on him. And then here, of course, this is an, a wreath. So he needs to be green. Then I'm just using our little squeegee and just smearing that paste wherever I want it to go. I'm going to try to stay off of that bow if I can. And this might, if you're wanting to do kind of like what I'm doing, you may even want to grab like a detail tool. A little easier to get around those tight corners. Let's do this tree first since I've done him first. So this is our shimmer gold. Now the shimmers have got like the little metallic flakes in them. So it's like built-in glitter. Let's do our tree. So there's the tree. I don't know if you can see the star shimmering. Can you see the little metallic flakes? And then we're going to do red here. Now, I've got like three colors that I put in the little ornament kit. But, you know, I'm almost tempted to throw some extra colors out here. 
Now that would be like add-on colors. So if we end up deciding we want to use like black or white, I did throw those in there because some of these chips are black and some of them are white. So I was trying to get colors that would work on both of the chips. But you know, if you want to add on some extra little taste singles, you can. So my party folks, your party special is going to be posting probably in about 30 minutes. Those that are in my business group that's not going to have a party special post, you can just put party special below in the comments and I will send you a, the, 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 the. I will send you the details. You'll get the party specials just for hanging out with us and we just do a combination live. <laughs> Oh, he's cute. Didn't a little wreath come out? He's so cute. Well, that's two. Okay. What do we want to do our snowman in? Do we want to break the mold and get some black out and do our snowman with black? Or should we do the snowman in red? Well, we've got red. I'm going to make a decision on it. We're just going to do red. Red it is. Super cute snowman. Now, of course, you could have done him all in black. And then if you had grabbed like an orange as an add-on color, we could have done that carrot for the nose and orange. But that's just adding lots of colors. See how I'm just smearing it on the transfer? Super easy. This would be a great craft for the kiddos. They can make their own little ornaments and then put them on the tree. And I would let these dry. And then when you get done with them, go ahead and wash your transfers. Put them back on the little backer sheets. Let all these dry and then turn them over and then do the other side after you wash the transfers. You will need to wash the transfers and let the front of these dry. Okay, so let's see what we're going to grab this next time around. So let's see, this one's going to, of course, have to have a silver bell, of course. We'll put him on the black one, since we haven't used black a lot. Let's fudge it a couple of times. Snowman is so cute. Yes, he is. That snowman would look so cute, like on a coffee cup. What else could we put him on that would be so stinking cute? You could also use these little... um cute little minis on like the front of baseball caps. I mean, there's just so, so many things you can use. These would make cute little tags to go on gifts. Let's see, we've got, do, 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 do. I'm trying to figure out my coloring and we're going to do here. So who has already put up their Christmas tree? Has anybody put up their tree already? I'm still trying to get Halloween put up. We've got it all out of the yard, but it hasn't made it up to the attic yet. Did I mention the fact that my husband decorates like six yards? My yard plus six neighbors. So yeah, we've got lots of Halloween crap that needs to go up in the attic. Okay, we're going to try red on the black and let you see how the red looks on the black. So you have a variety of how they look on the different colors. So this is Santa. So of course he's got to be red. I guess I'm a traditional Christmas type of gal. You know, some people don't do traditional colors. They have their color for the year. And you could customize this so it kind of went with your, um, your tree colors. So there's Santa on the black. And let's see, we've got this one. We've got all these little bells. So we're going to have to do each one of these bells. Balls, I guess they're balls, not bells. A different color. I 
that you have to. I just, I just want to. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. So can you guys believe that next week is Thanksgiving? Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my goodness. I have to work. I have to work. Christmas colors are red and white. Well, you know, girl, that's timeless. That is a timeless color right there. I think we'll do this green. I remember one year I had my tree like mauve. Remember when mauve was in? Mauve and um, like that baby blue. I was really into that color. Everything was mauve and baby blue. Boy, that stayed me. Here is Merry Christmas with some ornaments, different colors. So we've got the little bells. Of course, the bells got to be our shimmer gold. I don't know. I think we're just going to do all of this one as shimmer gold. So did anyone take a look at our um, Black Friday sale that started on Monday? I know I normally drop you guys a little video showing you what is this week's Black Friday sale, and I haven't done that yet. So every Monday during the month of November, we have Black Friday sales. There's product up to 50% off. Jingle all the way. So see how this would be a fun little, a fun little um, family craft. Something to do with all the kiddos to entertain them one day after school or maybe during the Christmas break. You could do this after um, Thanksgiving. You get done eating and you need to entertain everyone. Well, I don't know if you'll have this in time. You'd have to go, like, get it, like, today or tomorrow from me so I can get it to you. <laughs> I can get it in the mail ASAP. Do, 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 do. So, what else do you think we can use these little, um, these little minis on? What would be cute? Does anybody give out wine, like um, a bottle of wine for Christmas? You could, um, you're going to get some string. I'm going to, I am going to include string with this little ornament kit. Um, and you can hang it around a bottle. If you do, um, I'm actually going to be giving away for Christmas, like, um, like mason jars or whatever that you put the ingredients in and you kind of doll it up a little bit and maybe put a cute little chalk chip around the top of that. Wouldn't that be cute? Stuff like that. Little bits of personalization. I'm just fuzzing this about two times. Figuring out what colors I want to use. floral arrangements. There you go. And maybe just um, hot glue them to those um, like a dowel and have them sticking out. That's an idea. I haven't thought of that one. Okay, 
Okay, one more. Then we have to figure out our colors we're going to use for these last ones. Okay, so we've got green. Let me kind of look to see what we've got for our color palettes so far. So we've got this one. We've got a lot of green going on with the white. I don't know if you guys can see that. That red. Boy, is that the only black one? Okay, we've got this one for a black. So we've got a green and a red. I think for this one, we are going to bring out a black just so y'all can see maybe a black and white on here in case you want to add on a black or white. Or maybe you want to change some of your colors and incorporate those colors in. Because I've got another squeegee. I love me some black and white. I'd be perfectly happy if everything was just black and white. That is timeless. There's happy, happy, I was fixing to say happy holidays, but that's not. That's happy ho, ho, ho in black. And let's see. We need to do a white one so you can kind of see the clashing and colors and how pretty that is. So let's grab a white. Oh. You can feel where all my squeegees at. Probably where my um, my wax was last time we were here. Never, I didn't have the wax out here because it was still in my still in my tote from that last workshop. Because you know I had unexpected stuff happen and didn't give me much time to kind of get stuff out of bags and everything when your dad goes into the hospital and so cleaning out your bag wasn't at the top of your list of things to do. Better not pout. Hmm. Let's see. I think we need to we'll do another red one for here. We're gonna figure out when we're gonna do the club transfer. That's a cute little Christmas stocking one. So our club is our subscription club. $21.99 a month. You get an exclusive transfer and three pay singles. So at some point in time during the month, I come live and demonstrate that fun one from Santa Would Love. I had it sit up there on the table. I don't know where I moved the club transfer at now. Hmm. Gotta find it. I might need it, perhaps. No peeking. Oh, lucky I made a boo boo. I made a boo boo. But you know what's good is this is a chalkboard and this is reusable so we can fix it. No big deal. I think we'll add another white one.
Okay, so thank you. Have I told you guys everything I told you back about the Black Friday sale? Um, jump over once I'm done. It's um, chocotour.com slash crafts by bacon the number two. I should be able to click over onto my about section and I should have a link to get you there. So chocotour.com slash crafts by bacon the number two. And then you're going to click under shop and then Black Friday specials. And you can see what's on sale. There's some things that are up to 50% off and we all like sales, don't we? And now that sale is good until Sunday. So that sale ends on Sunday. And then on Monday, another sale will come, come, come into place. Oh, here, here we do. We've got another one here. So let's see. What have we had on black so far? We've got this red one. And we have one red. So we need some red, maybe some red and white on this one. So we're going to do red and white. So let's do the words in red. Of course, now you can join Chalk and become a designer, kind of do what I do. Um, you could do it as just a crafting hobby. You can do it as a part-time side hustle. You can do it full-time. So, you know, as much as you put into it or as little as you put into it. But, gosh, you can join Chalk now as a designer for $10. $9.99 just to get your access pass. Once you pay your $10, you get immediate access to designer prices. And you can start your own business. Start your own business. How much, how little you want to. Let's see, I got a little bit off over here so we can clean that off. And you know what's another cool thing is now we get paid within four hours. So if somebody goes to my online store and does some shopping, four hours later, I'm going to get a paycheck. That's new. We didn't used to always do that. You always had to wait to the following month. So the following month is when I always got paid. Of course, the following month, I still get paid that way for like my team I've got underneath me. But, you know, if you're like running low on some money, you, know, you can do a little hustling, put together some little bundles, go do a vendor show, you know, whatever. There's a lot of different avenues you can to, to work this business. And then you send people to your online store to shop. Four hours later, boom, you just got gas money. So if you'd like some more information about that, then let's chat about it. Don't forget that my team leader is doing um, a live tomorrow night. So live tomorrow night by my team leader. She is doing a drawing for something incredible. I'm just saying, it's pretty incredible. So if you want more details on that, send me a message or put biz below and I will chit chat. I can't tell you on a public page what it is. Because this is a public page, it's not private. But privately in a conversation, we can talk about it. Okay, so here's our cute little ornaments that we made. Remember, we're making ornaments for the tree. So in my ornament kit, you're going to get 12 chalk chips. Now, if you like them all white versus the black ones, you can get all 12 of them white if you want it. Um, I was thinking of an assortment, so I was going to put together six black and six whites. I'll punch the holes out for you already, so you don't have to worry about it. You get three paste singles, which these are the three colors I was thinking of using because they'll work on all the colors. So a green, a shimmer gold, and a red, but that's customizable. You can change that around however you want to, and you get a squeegee, so you get everything you need, and of course, you get the transfers. And you're going to get some cute little hangers to hang them with. So this is what I'm going to do for you guys for your little ornament kit. So my partiers, you're going to be able to see um, that party special is going to be dropping here shortly that has all the details on that. For my business folks, it's not going to drop for you, but you can just put party special below in the comments, and I will send you the details on this ornament kit. So you're just going to put 
and then you'll be able to hang it on the tree. Like I said, I would do the front, let it dry, clean the transfers, and then once this dry, you can flip it over, and then I would do the same thing on the back, just so when it sits on the Christmas tree, you know how they're going to they're gonna turn on you. You'll be able, you'll have something on the front and the back. So that's how I would do it. And then here's a red one. I was kind of trying out some different colors, and I also cut some twine. So, you know, if you're a farmhouse type of, type of person, that's what I am. You might prefer the twine hangers here. So you can just tell me, hey, Becky, just send me the twine hangers. And I will send you 12 pieces of twine to hang them with versus the little ribbon. So that's what you're going to get in my ornament kit. And for my business folks over on the business page, since you're on a public page, you don't get the party specials posted, but you know what you get instead? You get to sprinkle. If you want to sprinkle, you get to enter into my weekly game. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And our sprinkle word tonight is ornament kit. Ornament kit is our sprinkle word. Okay, guys, you have an incredible night, and I will see you guys later. Y'all take care.